Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back to another episode of Columbian Space Initiative in Supreme World Ultimate. And in previous episode we started our attack towards Sao Paulo. We already captured some of the suburbs there, but it will still take some time before we've captured all of it. We do have the troops over here that are probably good to go down that way. Well, let's get the foxholes down there first. So we'll capture these two towns first today and then once we're done with these... Actually, you can probably stay behind. The other units really are required in this combat. The faster we can destroy the enemies in here, the better. And then I suppose we'll just move you there. Once you're almost there, we'll move in the foxholes to attack. And actually, we could move these as well to attack. There's one infantry there and four garrisons, so that's actually not all that bad. I suppose I can send you down that way already and... Soon, almost there, almost there, there we go. Okay, you got there slightly ahead of time, but now everyone is fine. Oh! British Gibraltar has been eliminated, because yes, uh, Britain declared war on Spain. Alright, so those units need some repairs. Oh, we never captured the town, did we? I don't think there's going to be a garrison to worry about. Yeah, Gibraltar has been destroyed. I wonder, is there... Well, there's probably going to be a lot of British ships around there soon enough. I mean, yeah, if they take all of that, then... Hmm. Uh, oh, wow. That's actually uh, quite a... Oh, right, there's actually some... Uh, Osman units down there as well. Interesting. Very interesting. There's some, a lot of German planes over there, actually. We still don't have our plane production, though, so that is kind of an issue. Right, so I reckon we did kill the garrison there. We do have still those two under repairs. These units are still doing okay-ish. We'll probably get the artillery down this way. To help a little bit with this battle. But yeah, um, Brazil probably doesn't have a lot of actual troops to fight us against with. So I'm not too worried about this uh, particular war. Or this particular front even. Uh, we do got the troops. Okay, so we did capture that. Good. I'll just move you down there. These around here, those can probably repair a little bit. I'm going to move you down there. There we go. Capture another one. Let's go ahead and capture these two towns. And then we can start taking another layer of this, uh... Oh, we have got on another promotion. We can probably use the railways to actually quickly capture that. There's going to be a slight... Oh, a little bit fighting there. Actually, we could probably utilize these to clear out that. With the help of artillery, of course. Still buying a lot of petroleum for us. Or from us, rather. Uh, okay, so the garrisons are... Yeah, we should be winning that battle without a problem. I'll wait until that combat is over before I move in. I'll quickly go there, then pull back. And then these units can go ahead and start fighting for that one. Some of these are actually in a pretty decent shape, so they should, might be okay fighting. Actually, I'm going to send you down. I'll keep you down there. I'll actually move these two to join the combat in here. Now that we captured that, let's get into the town, so we'll take very little damage right now. We can move that group to capture the town, I reckon. Maybe. Okay, we should be able to get into the town. Yep, there we go. And quickly pull back. There we go. And more and more of the garrisons are just falling. Right, so these two can probably move down that way then. Let's take the uh, armored unit. Or the armored group and move them down that way. They do still have the land production there. And there's bound to be a lot of artillery there. Because that is usually what the AI builds in large numbers. And to be fair, artillery in not large numbers is very handy. But do... It's a <laughs> not bad idea. Although, if you don't have any frontline units, then it can be a very bad idea, but they 
do still have the garrison and all that. Oh, there's another promotion there. Let's get you down that way. Moving the... Oh, right, so that's some cavalry down there. Let's get you into the town there and pull back. Garrisons over there are going down rather quickly. Okay, so there's another one that got their promotion. You need to probably pull back there. And frankly, this entire group... I'll just wait for that to get out of the hex. There we go. This entire group can probably go around there to clear out the next layer. Right, speaking of layers, how is this unit over here? Mostly okay. Start getting the troops a little bit closer and start capturing the next towns. Probably not going to touch on that one right now. I think once we've taken Sao Paulo and get to Rio de Janeiro, we should be capitulating the enemy. Although, I could be mistaken. But that is a likely outcome. Let's actually see, can we capture that? Well, if we send in a couple of these, then probably. And then just pull back. Luckily, those are rather quick units, and now the enemy will not have a replenished garrison in there. There's an infantry unit there, which could technically take the town. Alright, let's move these over here, capture the next town. And I suppose I could use this unit to capture the town that we just cleared out. There we go. And another layer of garrisons is going to be peeled. Okay, this group needs to be sent directly in there. And now pulled back. They do still have a, quite a bit of garrison in here, so it's still going to take some time for us to clear all of this. Okay, another one of the Green Berets is going to require some repair soon. I'm going to send down that way already. I'm sure that we can manage to clear out those garrisons, even with the four of them. I mean, we do have the artillery support. There we go. Send you down there. So Sao Paulo itself is practically ours. Send in some troops there, and then pull back. Actually push some of the cavalry back there, by the looks of it. Right, so if we want to capture these, we need to do them at the same time, which is going to be slightly more costly. So we'll probably need to wait until some of the troops are repaired, but we've done a pretty good job here so far. Of course, what we could do is we could just go ahead and clear out more of this area here in the meanwhile. It's actually not a terrible idea. Let's move these troops a little bit closer, so we can kind of keep a front line here at least. Send you down there, just take Santo Andrea. Some of these are almost ready to fight again. Let's actually get the artillery... well... Get the artillery into this... Oh, hello. Actually, no, don't go there yet. yet. You can do more damage on the enemy by not going too close for them to spot you. Oh, well, they're spotting us anyway. Okay, pull back, pull back. Alright, let's just move in there. Uh, you can probably move into the combat. Kind of need more troops. Oh, god damn it. You push my troops into the combat, they were not ready for that yet. Right, well, technically captured that for a moment there already, but. Um Seems to be doing alright. I'm going to move these two a little bit aside there. Oh, Gibraltar has returned from exile. Okay, oh right, pretty. Oh, the British have done a landing. Also, who holds that? Oh, Gibraltar technically holds all of that now. Interesting. Wait a minute, what's this? We have one champion. Iron shielding, nano manufacturing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh wow. Oh my. Those attack values are rather insane. 
Yeah, I don't think Spain has a uh, much of a chance in this combat. Uh, that was one hit, one kill. The fortifications are a little bit better, but yeah, no. Ooh. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, we're quite a bit behind in tech, apparently. Also, we're still losing a lot of money. Uh, when I say a lot, I really mean it. Do you have quite a lot of taxes right now? You know what, I'm going to have to increase that to 75% or something like that. Right, so that's not too bad right now. We got these units over here, I suppose. We we'll go over here and destroy the garrison over there. And we did capture that, so I'm going to move these units behind there a little bit. You need to pull back. There we go, that's another garrison cleared now. Maybe we just city there so we can clear out the next one. For that one, we can probably move in the artillery within reach again. Because that, I reckon, would help. Right, so we've got a lot of green barriers here. We don't necessarily need the elite guard to help at all. I might want to use the foxholes just to give them a little bit more experience. Oh wow, that is actually quite effective. Firing over there. Um, sure, I'll just send you down to the combat already. Half the combat going in here. Oh, taking a little bit of casualties. Right, well, oh, yeah, we've gotten a lot of promotions, that's for sure. And these haven't gotten their second promotions yet. But that's fine. I mean, the artillery, while they have been instrumental in a lot of combat, they haven't actually gotten all that many kills. And I think it's mostly regarding the. Actually, I'm not entirely sure if it's from the time you spend in combat or the kills or a combination of all of above. Just moving this group down here, so basically, yeah, we'll clear out all of that. You may need to pull back from the combat. On the other hand, I can send this to help with that combat a little bit. And since we are in the battle there, they don't have that massive uh, fortification attack there. Right, if we want to attack here, we need to kill multiple things at once. Uh, well, if we go there, we can start destroying the garrison over there first and destroy some of that. But they are probably going to step up a lot with their artillery in the region. You still want some petroleum? Okay. Time to destroy some Brazilian artillery, I guess. Or maybe not. Now we do have this group that we could utilize. I suppose we can go to the city here, so we'll give a bit of a support attack and... I don't think we'll be taking too much casualties in this combat. That is going okay, taking neutral fire. I'm kind of uh, expecting that. I mean, quite frankly, they've probably taken a fair bit more fire from us than we've taken from them, so I think it's fair trade. Oh, right, we have cleared out the garrison there. They recaptured that for a little while. They are taking a lot of casualties there. We're going to move the artillery a little bit closer. You are taking quite a bit of damage there. Let's go and capture that. We can destroy all of that, and then you can move into... Yoga and start destroying the garrison there. I'm probably butchering all the pronouncing of these names, so sorry about that. If there's any Brazilian viewers. Right, let's see. Can we destroy all the garrison there? There's probably going to be a massive garrison though, but... Well... Yes and no. Well, it's a massive garrison, or was a massive garrison rather. Not so much anymore. Right, let's just quickly go and grab that. And then pull back. You can go and capture that town. We got a little bit extra there. We are... Oh, did we lose? Oh, we lost a unit there. Which one did we lose? It was a tank. Okay. The tanks have been kind of iffy in this entire war anyway. Like, sure enough, they can do a little bit damage and all that, but... They take a lot of damage as well, especially from... At this point, when the enemies are rather effective in that. 
Let's pull back. I just wanted to capture that so we have a bit of a defensive line there. Right. How are the troops over here? They could use a bit more repairs, that's for sure. I'll gather up these troops over there, and then this group can probably group up over there again. Right, I think the next thing to do is clear out the garrison over there, and then we can go in there, clear out the garrison there, and so forth. We can make our way towards uh, Rio de Janeiro rather soon. Especially since they can't produce any more troops, so their army is well, it's still a million men, although most of that is just garrisons. Oh right, yeah, we got the reinforcements here. Some of the recon units, they do have a little bit of anti-tank capabilities. But I'm not too impressed, quite frankly, with that. Oh, and there's a tank in here. Oh, AMX-40. Okay, yeah. It's a bit of an obsolete tank, I'd say. So paying 200 million for all of that, oh, that's probably not worth it. Taking a fair bit of beating there. Right, are our troops... I'd say these two units are ready. Gather up the strike force over here. We can probably utilize the infantry from here as well. Doing a fair bit of bombardment there. It's probably good good idea to keep the artillery on this side to keep this uh, area defended. Because these units combined can probably clean out most of the enemies in here. Okay, so we got the units in there, and the garrisons are melting away, although we are taking pretty, oh, quite a bit of damage in here. So, not quite as good as I hoped. I'm probably going to have to pull you back, move you over there. Actually, I suppose we could move these across there now. It'll take a little bit of time, but that should be okay. Four against their six garrisons, or four green brass against their six garrisons. Now we got the mechanized units helping, so they should be going down rather quickly. And once we have secured the area around the land production area here, we should be able to start repairing our troops. Oh, and Spain has been eliminated. Well, that was quick. Well, it's a good thing that we've been trying to get better relations with UK for a while. They actually do consider us friendly. So that's good. Oh, right. They probably want to capture Andorra now. Wait, why is there a Chinese unit in there? Huh? Okay. Um, interesting. And a very curious to be fair at the same time. Well, let's move these to the barracks down there. I'll move these two as well. Uh, these can probably go ahead and capture the town and then pull back. I'm not prepared to fight the garrison there quite yet. We can send you to the barracks and these two to the barracks. So we can at least a little bit of repair and what we might want to do is clear out the flank over here real quick and then go through all of this. Now, in the meanwhile, we did capture or destroy the units over there. I suppose it's time for us to keep on moving. Oh, they managed to get another garrison because we didn't take that in time. Oh, that was to be expected. That it would happen at some point. Fighting two front war. Right, so we can clear out that fairly easily and then we can utilize these troops to probably just clean out some of that. I don't want to spread out too much of my troops because we don't have all that much and frankly, if we spread in too much, I can't keep my eye on everything. Oh, we had too many troops there trying to repair. Okay, well, that makes sense. Well, once some of them are repaired... Actually, I'm just going to move you to San, uh, San Jose. And yeah, that should be going fairly well. All the artillery right now, anyway. Wait, what troops? Did we send the foxholes in here? Oh, apparently we did. That wasn't my intention to be fair, but... Oh well. 
Oh no, it's gonna spread the entire army here. No, 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 get back there. Those as well. Right, I suppose I'll send these to help with the clearing of the next garrison. Ah, uh, no, that's not a good way to go there. Okay, well, at least we are destroying the garrison there, one by one. Did any of these get repaired sufficiently? Well, there's the tank over here. So where is that? Oh, right, that's the northern group. Right, well, you can go that way. We've got the foxholes here, and we capture that. Uh, I thought, yeah, I did send these in here. Tensions alert, or tensions heightened. Did the... No, military goods is still very cheap. Partially because there hasn't been a massive war lately that has lasted for years. I mean, this particular war has lasted for a while. Probably about two years, maybe three. But, like, all sides on this war have mostly been able to produce their own supplies, so that hasn't really been a problem. Well, well at least I've been able to. I don't know about Peru or Brazil. Actually, let's have a look. Okay, Peru is buying a little bit, but their demand isn't all that much, because they're not actually fighting most of the time. Let's go ahead and clear out the garrison over there first. Do we have the... Do you have the artillery down there? I'm going to move these troops over here. And do double offensive on the town there. Did we fix the tanks here? Yeah, we did. Group them up there. Now, these units can get into the town once they're there. So I did say that I wanted to clear out that, but it was just a, such a juicy um, opportunity to just push forward. And that is going well even without the support from these. That needs still the repairs. That level did drop again. And we're still losing quite a bit of money, actually. Right, well, you know what? We're going to have to lower, I don't know, uh, education back to 20 million or something like that. How bad is our unemployment, actually? 6.4%. 41% tourism. Could be worse, I suppose. Right, so I'll just clear out these, and then I'll go ahead and clear out those three. And then start pushing forward towards uh, Rio de Janeiro. The more and more we can destroy all the enemies, I mean, they still have 74% military support right now. That's almost repaired. These units are probably good to go in there. We've got the artillery support, so this should be fairly easy, especially with the box holes helping. Probably take some... Oh, it's the garrison that's taking the brunt of the force there. It's actually rather handy then. It means a lot less casualties for us. Right, well, that went well. Let's send the foxholes in there and then we'll pull them back once they've taken it. Next thing, I suppose we should probably take that one and clear out that side there. Then we can go through here and clear out that and then that and that. That, that, and that. You know, one by one. Right, uh, we need to clear out that. And most of those have got on their second promotion. This one hasn't, but we can send it down there easily. Alright, well, now that we've got the entire group here, let's just move down there. This group can go into the city and defend that. The enemy might try to send in something, but... The Green Berets can clear out the few towns over here that we wanted to clear out before pushing into the capital. Oh, Peru actually has quite a bit of troops in here around... Oh, are they, have they started producing troops yet? Possibly. Okay, well, we've got a decent bit of troops here. We should be able to clear them out. Let me just check one thing. Ah, we are actually just about 
at the end of the episode here, so I'll just end it here then. So, uh, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.